need something? You need some no, leg warmings? I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Are they leg warmings? Warmers. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Believe. I think they are warmers. Yeah. Did you ever wear them? Um, actually, yeah, when I was little. You did? I, yeah, when I um, pretended to be a ballerina. Right. And mm -hmm. the flash dance thing, probably. No, I think I was too young for that. Really? Yeah. When was flash dance? How long? How old are you? I'm I'm 24. No, it wasn't that much. It, well, flash dance. You probably could have been doing it when you were like. Yeah, but I wouldn't have been allowed to see that movie because I would have been like four or five, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. But the leg warmers were still very popular. I'm just trying to think. There are a lot of that. There was nothing bad except that you learned how to take your bra out, off without even taking your shirt off. Oh, I've never seen it. You've never seen the movie? But I assumed there was nudity because it was the 80s. Because it was the 80s? And, uh, and it's, <laughs> yeah. You're it right. seems like all those movies, you know, there would have been a gratuitous sex scene or Jennifer Beals naked. Yeah. She might she might have been naked yeah, in that. Yeah, I think she probably There's is. definitely water. <laughs> I've seen the water yeah. part. I remember that part. I've seen the water part. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then she's stomping like crazy because she's a maniac. Right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Um, when were you born? What year? I was born in 1980. Oh, it was 83, so you would have been three. Yeah, see, too yeah. young for that. Too young, but it would too be adorable to see a little three-year-old with leg warmers on. I think I had them. My mother also used to dress me in these really weird sweatshirt, matching sweatshirt and sweatpant ensembles. Mm-hmm. Um, That's what P. Diddy's crew wears now. Right. <laughs> but, um, Isn't that true? <laughs> well, no, theirs are, well, it was the, it's the opposite. Because theirs are bigger on the bottom, and uh -huh. mine was bigger on the top. Oh, no, with, on the oh with the tight. Right, and I also used oh. to wear these weird Converse that, as I, when I grew out of them, my mother would make them into um, flower pots, <laughs> which is really a strange thing to do. Well, she also. Yes. Okay, we had, we had this um, gorilla costume. Now, uh, there, I'm the youngest of four, and all all of us wore it at one point. And as soon as I grew out of it, my mother. Back up. Back up. So. You could, so we had this gorilla costume and we all wore it at one point. That's the conversation now? <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with that? Okay, go ahead. I don't know where it came from, and to me it all seemed normal. Um, but as soon as I grew out of it, she stuffed it with rags, put it on my high chair, which all of us used too, and she put my acid wash denim jean jacket on it that I had grown out of, and she still to this day has it in her bedroom, but she would change it seasonally, what it was wearing. <laughs> And all and people would be and the little little girls I brought home to sleep over would take one look at the gorilla stuffed gorilla in the dining room and they were out of there. <laughs> Speechless, right? Well, I'm just I'm still on the part the that segue? she would make flower. No, the segue is oh, fine okay. with me. The 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 problem I'm having is that she would make flower pots out of little tiny Converse shoes that you'd grow out of. What, what could you put in there? Little tiny flowers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to meet your mother. Um, <laughs> well, it's Mother's Day, so that I should talk about her a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, not right now. It's Yesterday Mother's was Mother's Day. No. Oh, yes, yeah. you're right. That's right. <laughs> Good to see you. I haven't seen you, you since season one. I know. <laughs> you were here for the first, and you're here for the last. You're bookending me. Yeah. Thank you okay. for doing that. Of course. Yeah, the, you were here the first season. You brought, they reminded me, because I have no memory of this, you brought your dog, and it was supposed to do a trick, and it didn't or something? Yeah, I totally forgot as well. But yeah, then I remembered. Yeah, I brought the sheriff, and he was supposed to do a trick, and he failed miserably. I love that name, the sheriff. The sheriff, and Steve Goldberg. What was the, <laughs> and what was the trick? What was he supposed to do? I don't exactly remember. <laughs> You don't remember what the trick was? Did he only no. have one trick, or did he have many he tricks? Had, no, he had one trick. I'm thinking it was that he used to come up on his hind legs and do a little bit of a spin. I see. But I'm not sure. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that would have been enough for season one, I think. But would have been a good, right? Yeah. Good? Yeah, we would have taken that. Put a hat that, on but, him or something? But nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Anyway, <laughs> um, you, you are amazing in Yellow Jackets. I want to talk oh, about that, you. because I love that show. Yeah, awesome. Um, but I just learned today, because you just had a baby, that you were pregnant while you were shooting that. Yeah, I had a baby less than a month ago. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so I could, yeah that, my, <laughs> you're my here. First, this is my first time out of the house, pretty much. Oh, there she is. Oh, um, my God. And her name is? Cleo. Cleo. Cleopatra, Cleopatra is her right? long name. All right. <laughs> Cleopatra, but name. you're going to call her Cleo. We were. We were going to call her Cleo. And then... Right before I had a C-section and right before when they were preparing me and they started talking about how we had to fill out uh, birth certificate stuff, my husband was like, well, we're going to give her a full name, right? And then the nickname's Cleo. And I was like, well, 
Cleopatra? And he was like, yeah, the full name's Cleopatra. And I was, I was sort of like, OK, fine, whatever. We'll talk about this later. But then he got so excited that he put it on Instagram. And then media outlets picked up that her name was Cleopatra Ricci Hampton. And uh, so I, guess, I was like, oh, I guess, I guess her name's Cleopatra. Yeah. <laughs> so that's when you decided when you were preparing to deliver her is what her full name would be? You didn't talk about? I just about... thought it would be Cleo. Right. But and y'all, you just didn't go further in the conversation with that. Exactly. And then I was like, well, well, we'll figure this out later. But he figured it out while I was Too in late. recovery. <laughs> yeah. Cleo, that's a cute name, though. Thank and you. And Cleopatra is Cleopatra's good. I mean, it's, it's a it's, queen's name. It's a great name. It's great. Yeah. And then your son is seven. What's yes. his name? Freddie. Freddie. And, and how is he as a big brother? He's great. He loves being a big brother so yeah. much. He kisses her all the time. And he does not like the lack of sleep, the chaos that's going on in the house. Yeah. But, you know, he's, he's, he's being very good. And How much is she sleeping? She sleeps, well, I mean, she sleeps for four hours, then wakes up for two, and then goes back. To, it's pretty consistent. Sounds horrible. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit worse than, like, seven years. I had, you know, I had Freddie when I was 34, and I was like, oh, it was no problem. It's, it's harder when you're older. I bet. I'm now 41 years old, and I thought they were just kidding. <laughs> but they weren't kidding. Yeah, it's no sleep deprivation is—is is, that's the... so much harder to deal with. Yeah, but so when you were when you were pregnant, when you were shooting the scenes, I mean, were you exhausted or were, how was it working like that? It was a little bit tough. I mean, I was um, I was trying really hard to not show for a really long time, so I like, intentionally wore lots of jackets and all this stuff, and then um, you know I got tired, I got hungry, yeah. I got like. <laughs> A little vicious because they wouldn't give me my food on time and no one knew it was because I was hungry because <laughs> I was pregnant. <laughs> they didn't know? No, so I would sort of like have little mini freakouts and they're like, well, I'm pregnant, but nobody knew. You so. were like the girl on the island. You didn't yeah. want anybody to know. <laughs> um, and so, and your son is seven and I was saying, you started, did you start at nine or did you start? I started at seven. At seven. Mm -hmm. So when you look at him, and you see that you were that age when you were acting, like yeah. do you remember those years? Yeah, I remember. I do, I remember. And he, you know, he can't get away with anything because I was working when I was seven. <laughs> so he'll be like, he'll say like, I'm so tired, or oh, school was so long today. And I'm just like, I worked 12 hour days when I was your age, <laughs> don't give me that. I know what you're, my favorite thing to say is, I know what you're capable of because I was working when I was your age. Oh my age. God, <laughs> that poor guy. I know, it's a that, shame. That's not fair. He's fine. Yeah. <laughs> does he want to get into, does, does he want to act? He wants to be an actor when he's older. He do, When he's older? Yeah. Well, how w wise of him. Well, no, I mean, I've decided. Oh, you've decided. I, I thought he was that smart that he's like, no. when I grow up. He I... wants to be an actor, but I've told him that he should spend all this time honing his craft. So then when he's 18 or 23 or whatever, he's smart. already, he's spent all his time getting really good. Yeah, that's smart. And he bought that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's gullible. Yeah, that's, that's important at that age. Yeah. Um, and has he seen your movie? What's he seen that you've done? He has seen the Adam Sandler movies and he's seen Casper. And I, I, in fact, I showed him Casper a little too early. I was driving him to school, and he started telling me how he had told his preschool teacher um, about how I was raised in this crazy house, and my dad died and then came back to life, and my best friend was a ghost. And I was just like, oh, okay, well, too soon. <laughs>